guys, today I'm going to do an Amazon and eBay haul. I'm going to show you a lot of products that I purchased recently. So a lot of these are products that I couldn't find in store in Canada. And what's so great about doing these hauls is that anyone in the world hopefully can purchase these products online just like I did and a lot of these things are really really affordable so it's definitely worth trying some of these out. Now in this video I won't swatch the lip products as you will see I have a lot of them so I will be doing separate reviews on all of these uh, liquid lipsticks with swatches and my full review. So the, this is more just a haul um, and quick little reviews of these products. So. Starting off, I got some liquid lipsticks from LA Girl, and I've never tried any products from this brand, and I am really impressed with these so far. I got four different shades. These come with five grams of product, which usually liquid lipsticks come in milliliters, so I'm not sure how that compares, but they've got a really nice doe foot applicator. These retail for four to five dollars each, so they're definitely very affordable, much more affordable than other liquid lipsticks, which are usually about twenty dollars each. So I got this first one in the shade Timeless, and it's a really beautiful, dusty rose, very wearable, everyday kind of lip product. This next one is what really pushed me to make this order because I absolutely love purple lipsticks and anything purple for the lips I'm in love with. So this one is called Stunner and it really is stunning. It's very eye-catching, it's bright, it's like a great bright purple. This one though is a little sheer so I do find myself doing two coats of this one to build it up whereas the other ones are very opaque. So I did get a really bright pink. I thought this would be a fuchsia pink, but it really is like a Barbie pink. So this one is Tulle or Tuli, and this one is definitely a neon Barbie pink. And the last one I got is this really bright red called Obsess. And I would consider this one definitely on the warm side. There's almost a little bit of an orange tone to it. So moving on, I got two sets of W7 liquid lipsticks. So I got one set with three of their Liquid Kiss lipsticks, and then I got a set of five Mega Matte lips. So these were both really affordable sets, definitely worth checking out. So the first one, the W7 Liquid Kiss lipsticks, these look exactly like the Maybelline Color Elixirs. But these ones are liquid lipsticks and the Maybelline ones are a colored gloss and I do have a review on those, I'll link below. So the first, the lightest shade is this pink called Basque and it's a really pretty coral nude lipstick. And these ones I would have to say are more of a watery consistency where the other two are more of a thick mousse consistency when they go on. This one is called Moulin Rouge and it is a pretty wearable red. I would say it has like a brick kind of red, maybe a dusty rose undertone. So if you're getting into reds, I think this one is a very wearable kind of red. And this beautiful hot pink one is called Can Can. This one's definitely my favorite out of the three. And the applicators on these are a nice doe foot applicator, which is a little thinner uh, when you turn it to the side. So I'm really excited about these, and these have four grams of product, so just a little bit less than the LA Girl ones. So then I got this set. So the first one is called Two Bob, and I don't have any liquid lipsticks in this kind of color. It's like a cappuccino nude really nice color and I think this would be flattering on most skin colors, most skin tones, so that one's really exciting. Then these next three shades, uh, we'll have to do swatches of these because they look quite similar in the packaging but they are quite a bit different when you apply them. So this first one is called Chippy, which looks like a nude with a coral undertone. Then this light pink is called Sinful, and this one is a very wearable color. Next is Oddball, and this one is a really nice muted hot pink. And this last one, which I think is my favorite, is called Hasta la Vista. 
and it's a really beautiful red. Uh, I think it has a little bit of a hot pink tone to it. And these have a doe foot applicator as well. So these are really great. And these have seven milliliters, which is quite a bit. That's, I think, the same as the Sephora cream lip stains. Uh, so yeah, those are all really great. Then I went really crazy with the um, Me Now Generation 2 Long Lasting Lip Gloss. So I got these for between one and two dollars each. So they are really, really affordable. I will be reviewing and swatching these. They are just so affordable. Now these don't have names, they have numbers uh, on the top. So a review will definitely be helpful. Um, so these ones did take longer to arrive. Everything else came within maybe two weeks. These ones took closer to three or four weeks, but they're coming from China, which is definitely expected. And these ones just come in kind of a test tube um, packaging and there's 4.4 grams in these. So I really like some of the shades. I did get a nice variety. So they have a doe foot applicator and yeah, I'm really excited to review those for you. Another thing I would recommend, we'll go into more accessories now, I did get this lipstick holder. I got three of them. As you can see, I'm hoarding lip products lately and my makeup collection is overflowing. So I wanted to get something that I could store all my lip glosses, liquid lipsticks. So these retail for about $3 each and everything fits in them. Even like the LA Girl ones are a little thicker. They still fit inside, which is awesome. So I would definitely recommend buying things like this online. That'll definitely save you some money. Another thing that I would really recommend are nail files and buffers. So I got this pack of, I think, 10 nail files, maybe eight. Um, so I got these gray nail files. I got these black nail files. So these are so affordable. You can buy maybe 10 for $3, 3 to $5 in stores. You could maybe buy one or two for that price. I also have been buying these buffing blocks. Uh, for a few dollars you can get a pack of 10. Now these aren't four-way buffers so you don't have like a shine side, uh, a rough buffing side. These all have the same texture all around but I think these are great for your nails, uh, fingers, toes. They're really nice and durable and they'll last you a lot of different manicures and they'll slowly get dull as you use them. But yeah, really affordable. I think these come from China, so expect like three or four weeks for them to come, but a great like long-term investment if you do your nails a lot. Uh, one more makeup item, I got this concealer. So I got the Nisha BB Cream. I think I have two of them and I really like them. So I wanted to try another product from them. This is their under eye concealer, their under eye brightener. I think this is just in a light shade. There's lots of Chinese writing and everything else. Um, yeah, so this one comes with a doe foot applicator and it has a slight yellow tone to it. Pretty full coverage. I did wear it a few times and I could blend it in. It did look all right. Um, I think just the lasting power so far did not impress me, but I will play around with it and see what works. One last thing are these nail wheels. These are my favorite that I've purchased. Now, if you don't make YouTube videos or anything like that, you probably don't need these, but these are great, once again, to buy in bulk. I buy maybe 10 at a time for a few dollars, and of course, they're really helpful when I'm showing like nail polish, swatches, and I like these because they're clear. I think there's about 20 nails on one wheel and uh, yeah, it's great too. Once you've got the colors on there, you can put your hand, your nail against the nail and kind of decide what nail polish color you want to go for, which is really great. So that is my haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.